Hi, all right. So I'm loading the car and uh, I'm getting ready to uh, go over to the neighbor's house. He cut down a tree a while ago and one of the branches is still sitting there and he said, come on over, get what you want. I said, all right, and they're small branches, perfect for making spoons. So we're gonna start with chainsaw, face mask, ears, gloves, and uh, we're gonna go over there and uh, pull up and trim it and get it right and then uh, bring it back here and make a spoon out of it. Let's do it. So I moved some of those branches out of the way and began cleaning up this big branch. I find it's the best way to handle this kind of thing is if the branch is still on the tree, you can clean it up and get it prepped beforehand, before you even make it back to any tools. So you don't have to use your bandsaw to cut off the bark or anything. You just use a quickie on the chainsaw. It works really well. Um, while I was doing this, I spotted, hey, there's another branch right there. So first I had to go clean off the other branches on the other side. And then I saw it and was like, I can get another branch out of this. So I cleaned it up so that when I walked away from all this, I would have two usable branches in the garage. And here I go cutting that one off. And there you go. I uh, then cut the rest of it down for my neighbor. Okay. Uh, so here's one. And it's got some holes in it. This has got some... Uh, it's been sitting here a while. It's got some nice uh, look to it. We're going to take it home and see what we can do with it. And then we got the smaller one off a smaller branch. We'll see what we can do with that. Okay, so now I'm back in the shop and we've got one side that's somewhat flat and another side that's somewhat flat. And we're gonna use the planer. This one's got a little curve in it. I don't know if you can see it. It's got a little curve in it. We'll see if we can't fix, fix that, remedy that. We'll just size it up, run it through the planer and see what we got. Um, sometimes it comes out real good and sometimes not so much. We'll find out. Like that. Okay. All right. I'll do both logs. We'll see what we can do. shop dog there's snow sitting in the car watching me work well sleeping while i work love her to death love my shop dogs Okay, so now we've used the chainsaw, we've cut them down, we ran them through the planer, we smoothed out the two different sides, now I've taken it and I've run it through the, the bandsaw 
and as you can see it's it's just a small bandsaw it's not a big expensive one use what equipment you have to do something you love that's what this is all about um, so I got a small board here and it has been sitting out now for maybe 20 minutes and I'm, I'm already starting to see the signs of st a stress fracture cracking in it or it's drying out um, this wood prob probably sat on the side yard where I got it from for a good year prior to this. Um, I got this one cut down. I can see where this one has a few spots that need attention to. I'm going to run it through the planer to plane off this side and this side just because it makes it look uh, nice. I don't have to sand it as much. Um, beyond that, I'm, I'm ready to start designing where I want to put my, my spoons. Maybe even run it through uh, once and cut it down so I can get two blanks out of it. If I had a lathe, I would not do any more to this. I would stick this on the lathe and I would carve something out of it because it is absolutely gorgeous wood. And I know by making a spoon, I'm going to lose a lot of it. So be it. So we're going to run it through the bandsaw here, cut it right in half. But first, I got to draw a line on it. I won't. Worry. So now I have taken uh, the smaller of the two, not the two, not the one I just cut in half. I decided I might use that for a different project at a different time, but this one I wanted to go for it. It's nice and thick. I can get a nice deep bowl in it. So I wanted to show, show my design on that and uh, get it mounted in the vise. Um, this is how I first start chiseling out. Um, there were some cracks in it, and I just specific, specifically put my design in so that it wouldn't affect those. Um, the nice part about clamping it in the clamp and really getting it tight is that I don't care if the wood gets crushed right here because I'm going to cut that sections out. So I don't care if there's impressions on those sides. It's like having a placeholder in there, and now it's super sturdy, and I can start the carving process. Um, I've got the nice double line on there so I know where, where I'm going to cut out. Let me uh, switch this to time-lapse mode and uh, see what happens. Okay, so I've managed to bowl this out and it's pretty smooth in there, I'm down to 120. I didn't super sand it yet um, because accidents happen and sometimes you need to things, so don't waste your time sanding that. Um, I've traced out on here straight stick. Um, sometimes I like to do crazy stuff, but I've got this hairline crack that's running right through here and I need to make sure I cut that out. Um, I also have this knot that's got a crack in it, so I'm gonna take it around that hoping I can put a hole right there so that the spoon can then hang up on the wall. Um, so let's uh, 
let's cut it out on the bandsaw and uh, make it work. So I have the, the basic shape of the spoon, and I took all the rough sandings from cutting it on the bandsaw out. And I can see there's a few spots here. I may have to do a quick, a quick take clean up here now that I've wiped it down. It's really important in between different sand jobs that you wipe it down with something, even if, even if it's just your hand and hand to hand. Just kidding. Um, I wouldn't lick my spoon. But you want to make sure you are wiping it down because it does leave grits from the sandpaper behind on it. And then when you go to use the next sandpaper. Now over here I have, um, I have 100, 120, 220, and 500 grit sandpaper, which I'll be taking to this next to finalize it up and get it smooth. mineral oil around here. Here's the spoon. Let's just, I did a mineral oil between each sanding grit. So it shouldn't take, shouldn't absorb quite so much, but you can just see how rich, look at that. Look at that, ugh. It just looks like jewels. It just is so beautiful, so beautiful. And it's taking a lot of the dust off of it. In the last layer it is it just feels so good in my hands it is so smooth absolutely love it um, I will probably put this one in my collection um, it's got a great feel to it it's a, just a nice big spoon um, and it's just you just look at look at the look how beautiful it is that's so great yeah and the, around that part and in here and so that's it I don't know what else to say from tree branch to wooden spoon and I still have more blanks to go. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you're out there making stuff with whatever you have.